you think that the Super Bowl was a giant satanic ritual, it actually turns out that they had a sacrifice, and I'm... Wow. Let's take a look. Literally. I have never hopped out of my bed so fast to record a video. Let me tell you something. I got up, I was checking my likes just to make sure the videos were still there. Two of them were missing. Yeah, let's just get into the video before everything, you know, glitch out. Y'all know exactly how I feel about intros. Nigerian bank chief unalived in a U.S. helicopter crash. He was one of the biggest bank owners in the world. We're about to dive deep into exposing the Super Bowl. Let's just get into it. Their way to the Super Bowl and how Biden just posted this cryptic ass message right after they died. The CEO of one of the largest banks in the country was on a helicopter with pilots, family, and the CEO slash chairman of the Nigeria Stock Exchange when their helicopter mysteriously caught fire and crashed while on their way to the Super Bowl. And what are the odds that Biden on his presidential ex account drops this photo with glowing red eyes and this weird caption that shocks all of America? And the caption for this picture that he actually posted on the presidential Twitter account was just like we drew it up and everyone thought that they were talking about the Super Bowl when they weren't. I honestly believe that this is what they were talking about. And if you are unfamiliar with the Nigerian Stock Exchange and what they have going on right now with America. Hey y'all, I need y'all to subscribe and smash that like button. Just the overall fight for power, money, and greed, you need to pay attention to what is going on. One of the people on that aircraft was a chief executive of Access Bank and his wife and his son were among those six people that were on board and it went down shortly after 10 p.m. on Interstate 15 and all six people were killed including two pilots and the former chairman of NGX Group, the Nigerian Stock Exchange. And what's so crazy, it is saying that authorities are, vet are investigating it, which means to me they may suspect foul play. They are trying to say that this could take up to two years. This entire investigation could take up to two years, and they are calling it a terrible tragedy. The Super Bowl was a giant ritual, and those people in that helicopter, think about it. If you take out the owner and CEO of a large bank, one of the largest banks in the country, you take off his wife, and you take out his son. Who is left to get the money? You see what I'm talking about. People keep saying that the Super Bowl is a ritual. Y'all have to use your own discernment. I'm not telling you what to think. But you you, you, you can put two and two together. Let's just get into more of the stuff that was happening on the Super Bowl. All right, guys, so I'm not one to follow conspiracy theories or anything like that. But this is a little too obvious, and it's kind of insane. So as you can see, Ice Spice is at the Super Bowl. And hey, y'all. I need y'all to subscribe and smash that like button keep putting her up on camera and i can't help but notice that she has this weird necklace on right now i don't know if i'm tripping or not but is that an upside down cross bro it, it, it breaks my heart because i love i spice like i actually enjoy her music like as you guys see here they're at the game right now they keep showing her on and i swear that's an upside down cross and what i'm about to show you is actually the scariest one this is where i was like hold up something isn't right all right so this is a video of somebody at the Super Bowl while Taylor Swift is taking a drink. Right, so if you see it, you just see Taylor Swift chugging a drink. Everyone's going crazy, right? But if you zoom into Ice Spice, like, look, again, I'm not, I'm not a, a crazy conspiracy theory guy. Guys, look what she does with her hands. Bro, she's legit throwing up. That, I'm pretty sure, is a satanic hand gesture. And then she throws up her upside down cross necklace this is just Let's get into the rest of this video now they keep talking about taylor swift being there and this taylor swift conspiracy with the super bowl let's let me show you did you hear the taylor swift super bowl conspiracy what's with all these conspiracies can we settle on something so as you know taylor swift's favorite number is 13 why that's a known thing i don't know about you but i thought it was 22 okay let me show you why her favorite number is 13 was... hey y'all i need y'all to subscribe and smash that like button I was born on the 13th. I turned 13 on Friday the 13th. My first album went gold in the U.S. in 13 weeks. Every time I've won an award at an award show, I've been seated in row M, which is the 13th letter, or like the 13th seat, or the 13th row, or the 13th section. It's really a good number.
13, Taylor's lucky oh number, which bodes very well for I, the Chiefs. Super Bowl 58, 5 plus 8 is 13. February 11th, 2-11, oh 13. God. If Taylor Swift goes to the Super Bowl this year, it will be her 13th game attended. Okay. If she does go to the Super Bowl, the flight from Japan to the Super Bowl is roughly 13 hours. We're just diving deep, aren't we? The Chiefs are playing the 49ers, which 4 plus 9 is 13. <laughs> Okay. And the 49ers are the one seed and the Chiefs are the three seed, which makes 13. That does also make 13. Yeah. If you subtract 13 from 100, it makes 87, which is Travis Kelsey's number. So let's talk about the Super Bowl right quick, right? Now this Beyonce at the Super Bowl, but this was Beyonce just a couple days ago. I mean, just look at their fingers, though. Better yet, just look at the lips. Look at how one more fuller than the other ones are. I bet y'all ain't even peeped the ad during the halftime show, huh? Well, she basically pretty much came out with a clone. Introducing Beyonce. What the? Seriously? Here we go with the all red again. Hey, y'all. I need y'all to subscribe and smash that like button. If you don't see the checkerboard, then you're going to see all red. I also peeped this word in her little ad or whatever. B-O-T-U-S. I'm running for Beyonce of the United States. Can you hear me now? Come here, Brandy. Now, she said this stands for Beyonce of the United States, but the real meaning is Bank of the United States. This is what I be meaning by symbolism. You know how I told y'all how the bank's gonna shut down, people not gonna be able to get their money, you know how we're gonna go to a one-world currency? Bricks. That's what this about. The fact that the bank owner was unalive in a helicopter on the night of the Super Bowl, mm, that, that's making sense to me. The Super Bowl this year was a massive ritual to Saturn using alchemical symbolism for you know who, the devil. Alicia Keys came out as a scarlet woman dressed in all red. The purpose is to manifest the energies of the new Aeon of Horus which is why Usher was wearing only the left glove, the left hand pad. Usher used the symbolism of alchemy to show us turning lead into gold or the transmutation of the soul when he came out on the black stage, then he was dressed in white and he ended up on the stage of fire all while wearing a phoenix pin. We got opposing polarity symbolism of the checkerboard of Freemasonry, and even the big one, a stage used to show Usher as the sun on the Zodiac Cross, a pagan religious belief, and the symbol was two opposing planets with the sun between them. If you look up today's astrology, guess what planets are in opposition with the sun between them? The Earth and Saturn. Hey y'all, I need y'all to subscribe and smash that like button. By Ice Spice and Taylor Swift used Saturn symbolism in their Karma video and Usher was standing on a giant clock, aka Kronos or Saturn, the religion of the occultists. There's way more than I have time for in this video, from Usher's Baphomet symbols to the rigged game for the Chiefs and the aliens and Beyonce's AI symbolism and so on. Check out my show and just wake up already. Let me just give y'all a little history on what's been going on at the Super Bowls in the past. Rihanna made a horrible mistake at her halftime show by reinforcing the crazy conspiracy theory that the Super Bowl is actually a live satanic ritual hosted by the elites to show off their power and influence to the peasants watching. And that every year the performer must flash the crowd a demonic or evil symbol of the Illuminati if they want to perform. Beyonce put up the same exact symbol to the crowd at her Super Bowl halftime show and was all over the news the next day for it. Conspiracy theorists believe that Beyonce signaled that she's part of a secret society bent on world domination. Some claim that's just the Rock Nation symbol, but why would other celebrities who aren't affiliated with Rock Nation at all flash it? Stop making excuses for them! At Justin Timberlake's 2018 show, he had a giant silhouette of Satan laughing at the crowd with his tail. They played it off like a guy playing the guitar. At Madonna's 2012 show, she was moving her body to show symbolism and wearing the Illuminati owl crown on her head? This was insane. JLo's costume was showing this evil satanic goat and she was showing the horns with her head too. Look at her costume though. You can't tell me those are two eyes and a nose and then antlers going up. Hey y'all, I need y'all to subscribe and smash that like button.